hello everyone i feel like i've been neglecting my youtube community so i consciously made the effort to come uh have a video um we've been super busy so this is really my first free day and i've had a lot of people drop questions in my email and my um, Instagram DM and under videos and I never really get around to answering questions so every once in a while now I think I'll make a video and just grab a few questions and come on here and like just go with them I don't really want to think too much ahead of time I don't really have time for that either. <laughs> even though time doesn't exist when you have kids um, they seem to suck all of that time out of you or create a space where you can't hear so it just is what it is and you guys work with me quite well um, anyways I wrote some things down and I have um, a few quick little things um, to bring through too in terms of speaking about like the energies coming through like June has been insane in terms of integration so basically if you've done a lot of the work it was very physical you probably are very tired um, you were tested maybe with a situation but you were able to ride the wave and be in the eye of the storm um, that happened to me I was like super physical I mean I was like down sleeping during the day and that's not even me I'm go 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 and I had like a week and a half to two weeks where I was just like dragging and then I was like talking to Lance I was like you know what you know you can really tell when you have done a lot of the work because you know when the crazy energies come in instead of having these explosive dark night of the soul situations with like people in the 3d and programs that you haven't let go of yet it starts you're starting to work on um, preparing your body to be able to bring in more light and so um yeah that's what i was feeling in the beginning of june and i was <laughs> telling lance i was like uh it feels like we skated free like we were just like dealing with the physical stuff and then all of a sudden there was a uh, you know something that happened that was like contrast and um it was a situation where I was had to learn a lesson and the other person involved had to learn their lesson it was like a confrontation that I couldn't avoid like I had to face this issue it wasn't like well I'm not gonna deal with that because I don't deal with that stuff anymore I don't deal with people. like um situations where like you have like for me it was like you co-parent so you have to um, interact with this person until your kids are like 18 and you're like you know what I mean because you have to you know they have to visit them and then you have them and like all these things come up right so you don't have a choice you have to face the thing so for me it's always like I don't like confrontation so I'll always be the one to make the sacrifice in the situation in order to just not deal with it like I'll take the I usually uh, take the hit like on money situations and all that because I don't really care about money but I also had that lesson where I had to like put up a, a boundary and have a backbone and not get walked all over and that was a lesson for me and it actually um, is in my mom's side in the bloodline and most of the women are like that they um, avoid confrontation <laughs> and so they're people pleasers and all that kind of stuff so anyways I had a lesson come up at the end you know and you know the funny thing of it is is um, this actually relates to one of the questions that I had asked but um, Lance was such an integral part of helping me through that situation and I know for facts if it would have been me by myself going through it it would have been a lot more difficult because I didn't have that unconditional love and support so I'm actually going to go to that question right now because it just flows so uh, so well into it. And I was going to save it for last, but you're saying do it right now. So this was a question from somebody, and this was a YouTube um, under one of my YouTube videos. It says, what was your story prior to union and self-growth? Like in terms of compare and contrast the difference between being alone and trying to heal and then healing when you're in union. Well, for me, the big difference is that if you're in union that's harmonious, which took Lance and I three years, well, two and a half, three years to get there, um, it makes life a lot easier um, in terms of support. But if you're in union and you're still working out a lot of programming, um, it just 
is like a really fast track version of healing and it's it's difficult because you have to look at a lot of stuff in very like you look at something you attempt to heal it the cycle comes around you try to heal it again you try to heal it again and it's just non-stop like looking at shadow trying to heal it because it's when you're playing in the twin flame energy that's what we have experienced it's like um it's those uh, if you watch my past videos where i talk about how you go through these oscillation periods where you have your two weeks and you guys are just like vibing feeling great and then you got like a week or two where you're like um i can't see anything but what annoys me about this person you know what i mean and then like all that is is like okay how is that me though how is that me how can i face my shadow here right um and so before lands it was very a much slower process because i was g be given essentially be give, being given less opportunities to like come around to that cycle and look at it like for instance when i was married um like because i didn't have a lot in common with my husband because i didn't have um we didn't vibe and all that stuff I was just like hanging around for the kids and I just didn't want to deal with going through all the whole headache of things, you know, of getting a divorce and all that kind of stuff. So you just kind of flow with the punches and you just ignore it and you spiritually bypass, right? But like if you're serious and the other person is serious about growth and you know what this is and you know that if you're triggered it's you and they know if they trigger if they're triggered it's them. It took us like 3 years to master this and we finally were like both talk about it now feel like we're in this space and that was three years together which meant we had to stay together when we really both wanted to be like screw you I don't need you I'm gonna go you know what I mean but it's just because you had it's just because um you know the ego just was coming up so often it's easy to run it's easy to run in those situations because you don't want to admit that it's your shit that you have to face you know and so that's the biggest difference it, it's the speed at which you heal and then once you are both healed to a certain degree, then it's just like, ooh, like I feel that come up, but like, instead of like blaming each other and running from each other, we're like supporting each other. It's like, ooh, you're, you're like, it maybe like right now to me, it doesn't really annoy me anymore. It doesn't really irritate me anymore because I see it for what it is, which is just a thought form, a consciousness that's trying to control, like the ego is in the driver's seat and it's trying to control the way I'm thinking. Because if I don't see, you know, him in, from a space of love and from my heart space, then essentially I'm seeing him from lower vibrational frequencies, which is the ego, right? And so, um, and, and vice versa. And the more you see your partner, the good qualities in your partner, the more they embody them. So if we just keep getting annoyed and just seeing the shit about them, um, it'll be more difficult for them to embody a better version of themselves because all you keep bringing up is the you know these things that are really just your problem because you need to face it instead of you know you see what I'm saying okay so that's the biggest difference it's the speed at which you heal and then um it also flows into this next question which I have to address because I get it so freaking often and I also have a video to recommend um, in terms of this as well but it has to do with how do I know if this person is my twin flame and that question um, if I hear that question I know there's just like and I'm <laughs> spirit I literally wrote down here quote how do I know if someone is my twin flame that's the question okay Spirit said to me right after I wrote this down, don't sugarcoat this response because too many people are stuck and need to hear it. Do the work and you won't care. And so obviously <laughs> my like my not wanting to deal with confrontation has me wanting to sugarcoat this topic. But at the end of the day, if you're asking the question, um, and this is all with love, just let me tell you like, Everything that I'm bringing through is is from a space of I love to observe the human behavior and when you understand how different humans behave and, is, and especially how you behave, then you're able to understand that your brain is wired in a certain way to respond in, to certain things. And so, um, 
um, yeah, so when it comes to this, it's like um, a t an attachment. It's an attachment to wanting to find, it's to, to wanting this fairy tale, this unconditional love. You know, all the stereotypes about twin flames, you know, in the community has people thinking like, um, as it in a space of there's one person that's uh, my twin and that's like it's either them or nobody else and it or, or but I don't know who it is could, could it be this person could it be this person like I feel connection with both first of all like the more you come into your heart space the more you're gonna feel connected to everyone and everything so like just until um, you're in a space where you're like you have no fucking doubt that somebody is your twin flame or whatever and it's actually not one specific person it's an energy you play in so if somebody doesn't want to grow and they don't want to um, uh, release programming and face their shadow and you don't want to do the same like it's not gonna happen it has to be two people that are willing to do it and say somebody you know spirit puts this person in your space and they're in it and everybody has free will so it's a big fucking experiment the whole twin flame thing so so everybody has free will, so they can decide how they're gonna, you know, act in a situation. Well, depending on how many demons everyone's picked up along the way, you could pick them up from spiritual teachers, you could pick them up all over the place, that's why you always protect yourself. But depending on that, it, we don't know what the free will is gonna choose. So say you start playing in, in twin flame energy with somebody, and then all of a sudden they're using your, their free will, um, to have the ego in the driver's seat, not wanting to face their shadow and all that. How are you supposed to play in that? They're not um, going to be able to play in that energy with you anymore. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that isn't still your path. The twin flame energy in itself, the he, the that um, way of healing, that path of healing, that journey. That's not for everyone. That's why I'm going to recommend this video by Amanda Ellis. I think it was a week or two ago I watched it, but I really wanted to recommend it to my followers because the way her she explained her perspective on Twin Flames really aligned with me. I'm not saying I agree with every single solitary thing um, that she or any other spiritual teacher um, um, expresses but or channels but at the same time um i love being open to different perspectives and then taking what resonates leave what doesn't that's that discernment that comes in and my intuition told me that this is a video that i need to share with you guys because the information in it is valuable it's valuable and it'll, it'll help you understand your situation better so i'll um, link that below and there's one other video that i'm also going to link um that Gigi young put out um a week or so ago and she was speaking on and it is a long one so you'll have if you do watch it you'll have to watch it in like increments it's like over three hours long and um, she does Q&A and then she talks about her own experience in terms of ET ETs and using discernment and what it, uh, she just goes breaks it down talking about spiritual teachers that are spreading false light all that and you know what that is such a huge energy right now for people to really really understand like how important discernment is because just like the, the um, any other thing you know in the world it, it's becoming the spiritual community and other places that are like I mean it's been this way trying to confuse people that are um, coming into the light and all that kind of stuff trying to tell people not to protect themselves all that kind of thing like um, that's that that is I hear like most of the people that I align with that I listen to um, on YouTube and such um, are speaking on this because it's um, a lot of people are waking up so it's so easy for somebody who doesn't know a lot to just accept everything they hear or like listen to somebody resonate with this one thing that they these these certain things that they say and then this one thing that they sneak in there that could be something that could attach to them that's a negative energy um they accept that because that person has already said so many things that they like right so that's why dropping in that's why I love um, I used to not appreciate my gifts of clairsentience and claircognizance and just being an empath and just like being that person that feels or just knows things because it's not so obvious it's not like I'm hearing somebody in my ear like you know I do get visions but they're like daydream type visions or dream type visions like I'll have the whole freaking movie play out but it's not like oh like seeing you know whatever and you know clairvoyance and all that you know Lance that is so funny how we balance each other out but um 
I totally got off on a tangent. <laughs> forgot what my main point was, but y'all feel what I'm saying. Like, oh, I re the reason I uh, appreciate my gift now because it makes it easier to discern. Because let me tell you, it's a lot easier to be like, ooh, like listen to somebody talk and then feel how that feels inside my body. Like, mm, not so sure. Like that feeling of like, I'm not sure I can trust that. I'm not sure I can trust you. And like that is so obvious. Whereas if somebody, say an ET or a being comes through and they're showing themselves and they're saying things, but they could pretend, something negative could pretend to be an angel or something positive. That's why discernment is so crucial. That's why just like um, protection is so crucial. So it's just a lot of mixture of things that are important to keep in mind right now. Um, it, with so many people waking up. Um, another thing. Spirit was telling me, and I can't elaborate on this too much because it's going to be difficult for a lot of people to see this from a higher perspective and I don't want to spread fear. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of. If you are aligned with the highest timeline, um, you're in alignment with the, in a vibrational match to things um, that are of your vibration. So you don't have anything to worry about. But in the same respect, uh, Spirit wants me to talk about how we're going to be in an environment where we had to come at peace with like the masses facing their shadow okay and what that is so you know i'm not going to elaborate too much but in your mind if you're if you're there yet you'll know like okay what are the consequences of the actions of everything going on right now and the exposure of everything and all of that and then how people are going to deal with that or if you know i can't go any further because i'm going to keep the more I talk, the more spirit's like, okay, don't go too far because you don't want to scare people. Okay. So, um, even though, like, I'm bringing the energy of being conscious and well-informed, like, it's, like, about preparedness emotionally and physically. It's not just about, like, going off grid and buying a bunch of, and buying a bunch of land so you don't have to worry about being a part of the system so it won't impact you. Yes, that is a part of it. But being emotionally prepared, mentally prepared, um... Um, like the physically prepared is not only your body but your environment but the thing of it is is like the emotional preparedness is what they're emphasizing for me to express to you guys so to me I can tell you what I think that could mean um, I'm not going to but I know you can put two and two together if it's meant for you to hear we need to be emotionally prepared period and understand death and transition well and if you do understand those things well, if you, if you feel like you're not going to be emotionally prepared, Spirit's saying go um, spend some time understanding death and all of that. Um, yeah. So that was all I had written down. I do want to say thank you for um, everyone who donates to my channel. Like, I totally appreciate it. Um, there's people who regularly donate to me and I always, when I get on here and I start talking, I always forget to say thank you and I appreciate you guys so much. Um, yeah, and also I'm going to link those videos underneath here. Um, the two videos, one, the one was about Twin Flames um, with Amanda Ellis and the other one was Gigi Young in the Contact Protocol. Please watch the Contact Protocol if you are into connecting with anything that is outside of yourself please so you um have a good base and you can protect yourself and you can know what to look for like the more informed you are um the better you know um what else yeah guys that's it and um i'm super busy in the summer so if you keep shooting questions at me i can like run out here and make some videos and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm not even going to be thinking about it because I'm running around with my kids and stuff. And, um, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's next weekend, the 10th of July. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, there's the Arise Freedom Tour coming there. Um, with Lee Dundas, Sacha Stone. And I'm not sure because they had, like, broken up the tour. Not everybody is traveling. 
um, on the same tour now. They kind of broke it up. But I know those two are going to be there. And um, yeah, I think that's a beautiful way. If it's coming to your city, go look on AriseFreedomTour.com, I think it is. Excuse me. And if, you know, events like that come your way, that's a beautiful space to just go and be. And like, you never know where you could meet your tribe or whatever like you just never know don't be afraid to like go out and put yourself out there I'm the type of person that hates crowds and normally I would not go to an event but I feel like I can't miss this and I'm being pulled to it for some reason so anyways July 10th they'll be in Pittsburgh so me and Lance will probably be there and um yeah I just want to shout that out because I would love to see a lot of people go and support the cause of you know um just all of it human trafficking um uh, you know reversing the election all those things like that I don't even like want to talk about anymore I'm just like watching it all play out supposedly something's going down July 4th in Mount Rushmore I hope it's true but who knows <laughs> if you know what somebody else said something about um like, have you heard about, you know, different opinions about, like, the agenda that's playing out and who can you trust and who can you not trust and, you know, everybody, you know, wants Donald Trump to be a savior and all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, yo, like, is we as long as we're attached to no outcome and we know that if we're a vibrational match to love and joy and new earth, that's what's going to be there for us. So we have to focus more on our vibration instead of worrying about what could happen is this that is this that is it something you can control no we can't control anything it can you can you play a part are you called to play a part then go play your part are you called to like me be here with my kids and look for land so we can you know so, you know start a community and like all the kind of stuff like just one day at a time no pressure no pressure guys stay in high vibes and you're going to be in alignment with things that are high vibe but face your shadow because if you don't face your shadow you're going to bring your shadow with you or it could be your demise you know not necessarily demise because death doesn't exist but don't if, if here's my thing <laughs> and I'm just going to say this once because I think about it all the time and I know this the people who are all love and light hate this uh perspective because they just want to act spiritually bypassed but at the end of the day people who are past the point of ret no return in terms of waking up or raising their consciousness they need to transition and go try again why are would you waste more time in this incarnation you know what I mean when when you've already just like you know it's done it's done you tried you didn't you didn't you know pass your initiations that's fine go try again you know um and that's that piece we have to come to with you know in terms of the masses facing their shadows we have to come at peace with that but yeah i already said i was <laughs> shutting the video off i'm off on another tangent i love you leave me questions wherever and i will you know whenever i get to it i will try to come on here and answer them and then I want to do videos or lives or something with Lance soon we always talk about it the house is never quiet enough or it's too late at night we get too tired like but if you see us pop on a live on my YouTube um, it's because it's a long time coming and we have so much to share about our journey and his perspective is important too so I don't know when that will happen but it will happen because um, we have like like all I swear all day long we have like all these things we talk about and that we've learned on our journey and through interacting with each other and then it's like wow we really need to make a YouTube video together again you know and then we just never do <laughs> but when it's supposed to happen it will and I have a feeling it might be soon because there's a lot of people um, that are right there you know right there in terms of just being able to maintain that union and grow together um, so it couldn't it couldn't hurt to have a here considering it took us three years to really master our egos <laughs> but yeah guys I love you and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day